So remember that video I made for April Fool's Day? Yeah, my brother made me pay for that. No, um, literally. He made me buy this. This is my brother's PC. It's actually slightly better than mine, but don't tell him that. What? So the plan today is obviously to fit that fan that I showed you before the intro, but also uh, oh gross, so much dust. So basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be cleaning that out and then we're going to replace this fan here with this fan here. Bought this off Amazon, I think it was £11.10p. Now I just kind of bought this as a, a quickie because after last week's video, Tim wouldn't let me use the clip of me playing a slightly mean April Fool's joke on him. Originally, unless I gave him a quantity of money, and then I said, how about I buy you a, a fan for your computer? And he's like, yeah, so I did that instead. So basically, this is a PWM fan. Hey guys, editing Ethan here. Uh, I just wanted to do a quick side note. That fan is not PWM, actually, I think you find. Um, Ethan, you dumbo. But it does get its power from the motherboard, so uh, he was kind of right. Anyway, back to the video. Which I didn't really bother to look at the specs, and I wasn't really thinking straight. But the fans that Tim currently has, like this one and this one, are both Molex. So actually, I think this one can be powered the PWM as well. Okay, so from this point on, whenever I say PWM, I don't mean PWM. I just mean this fan can be powered by the motherboard. Okay, let's carry on. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be installing this, because it's PWM, here, and plugging it into one of the system fan headers, which will have to be that one, I think. And then we're going to be putting that fan on this side panel here. And that side panel is why all this is a thing, like all this dust. Because as you can see, it hasn't got a dust filter. So obviously before we get started, uh, we need to grab some tools, which is why I have come to this beautiful place of many things. I've got these things here, these are old like pastry tin things. I use them for keeping screws in and all that sort of lovely stuff. So we'll grab those and we'll also grab this which is my uh, toolkit. We also need dun dun dun. This is a compu cleaner. It's basically an air compressor which I use for cleaning computers. Okay, so the first thing to do, as I'm going to have to get in here to get to the fan, is take the graphics card out and the hard drive, and then I can start dusting. So let's get started, shall we? I cut the na my nails the other day, and that makes taking back panels off a lot harder. Ugh, look at that. Luckily, this is removable. Ah, oh, look at that. Yeah, so that needs cleaning. I assure you that I've uh, researched every possible way of taking this hard drive out and leaning over my MacBook Pro to unscrew the screws at the back is definitely the best method. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for this dude. <laughs> Apologies to headphone users there. So let's get started, guys. You didn't actually think I was going to dust it here, did you? And blow dust all over my computer. Because what kind of idiot would do that? <laughs> Not me. <laughs> Gotta say, this thing looks a hell of a lot better on camera outside does in real life. So um, a quick note before I start, I have unplugged all of the fans in this system. Don't do this with your fans plugged in because these fans will start to spin and that generates a current and that could damage your motherboard. So uh, that's the main PC done. So now 
I'm going to take this upstairs and I'm going to dust the bits I took out. Ted, uh, do you understand that you don't want to dust all the intricate bits, but yeah, that... I, I do is, that is, sometimes. That is disgusting. Oh, that just slides out the back. That just, that just slides out the back. Yeah, I know. And you can just easily... I usually do it. No, don't do it like that. You do it like this. <laughs> Boom! I haven't seen the front of that in ages. It actually looks really nice. It's the nicest. No, it didn't. Mine looks bare. Yeah. This is a crap one. Because Tim's here. And it's his. You held the fans, because, like I said earlier, don't want the fans to spin. You can jam a screwdriver or something in it. But, um... You no. can just hold it. I am going to destroy you. No, not, not you. You, as in the thing that you were looking at me through. Because I just got an awesome shot of dusting the graphics card. And this thing stopped bloody recording. So the next thing to do is install the fan. So the first step here is uh, we've got to get this front bit off. So if this thing's anything like my case, which it looks like it is, there's all these little things along the side here have to squeeze except in this case they seem to be a lot fiddlier to get to so that's when we crack out these bad boys this is a little more tricky than i had anticipated got it Woo! ah yeah didn't think of that Much tangle, much tangle. Wow, that that is, wow. <laughs> that is one hell of a bare front of the case. Guess that's a good thing, because I was uh, thinking that this was gonna be possibly a little bit complicated. <laughs> I think I might remove this fan for a bit of cleaning so I don't know if you can see on camera that is a wee bit dusty. If we look in here we can see it's quite empty now but we can also see just down here system fan gonna plug a fan into there and we've also got another one up here system fan 3. I can't use system fan 2 because that's 4 pin so what we're gonna do we're gonna take this fan which is the one that I took out the front of the computer and we're going to put that here. We're going to take this fan, which is the one that used to be in the back of the computer. We're going to put that on this side panel and it's going to look freaking badass. And then I'm going to stick this fan in the front where the transparent fan here used to be. And because this one actually has three pins, this is going to plug in to this fan header down here. And the front one is going to plug into the fan header up there. So, the first thing that we need to do, I think, is test that the system can actually power the fans through these. Okay, so Tim is now in the room, he doesn't want to be on camera, so he can witness this going brilliantly. Of course, because what other way would it go? Uh, hopefully not. Oh. Hey. That's nice. So, this fan is going to go in the front, you can route the cable out through here, and then up through there. Something I've just realised I don't think I've mentioned. This front fan is going to be an intake, as is standard. The side one is also going to be an intake, and the rear is going to make, remain as an exhaust. So basically, we're adding an intake fan. Well. Now, the more uh, astute among you, if that's the right word, will have noticed that there is no dust filter on this grill here. You're probably screaming, Ethan, you muppet, you're going to have to introduce laser dust into the system. Yes. Yes, I am. That's what I have to say to you. But I don't have a dust filter to put on here, but I do have a computer that needs some additional cooling. So like I said, you can see here, I've got a fan in the front, and we've got this fan cable. So what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to hook that through there. Then if we come around this side, can just pull that like that. Nice and neat and tidy and out of the way. I've got to try and figure out what I want to do with all these cables. I think what we can do with these, if I tie these up like this, 
those down here. Because I'm me, I'm going to do an Instagram. Aw, oh, yeah. Oh, nice, nice and messy and tacky. So we're definitely going to have to do something about these cables, but uh, let's get this thing back on front of here, shall we? Fans are very loud. I think we might need to do some tweaking in the settings, but it's working. Uh... Oh, hey there. It's uh, now Saturday. Uh, yesterday was Friday, which is when I started recording this video. Depending on how editing me put the footage together, the last thing you saw was me discovering that you can't control the fan speed of the system fan 3 and 4 which happen to be the ones that we plug the fans into because 1 and 2 need 4 pin connections and both our fans have three pin. Turns out that wasn't the reason it was being really noisy anyway. I decided to take the fan out that was on the side panel, this fan here. The reason it was making the noise is because this, it must be something to do with the shape, but basically when you pull air through here with this fan, it makes a horrible noise. This fan seems to push a lot more air than that fan or that fan. So what I'm gonna do is instead of having this fan pushing loads of air to, let's face it, just the graphics card, really. I'm gonna stick the new Corsair one, uh, which is there, obviously, still. I'm gonna stick that on the side panel in the hope that it won't make as much noise because it doesn't push as much air. And I'm gonna stick this one in the front. That means I have to go around here and undo all of that cable management and stuff that I did yesterday. Oh well. So to kind of demonstrate what I'm talking about, I'm just gonna do like a little quick test here. So that's where the sound's coming from. That beeping sound it was making, by the way, is because it's got no boot drive. So basically, this fan pushes a hell of a lot of air. That fan there in the front, I've just had a look, because I didn't look at the specs when I bought it. Tim just said, I want that one, and I didn't even really think about it. That is... Uh, a static pressure fan which basically means it's designed for pushing air with a lot of energy through tight spaces it's designed for pushing air through heat sinks you can look it up um, i recommend looking up tech quickie static pressure versus airflow fans this is supposedly an airflow fan so i think we'll stick to our original plan that fan seems to push about as much air as this fan does so i'm hoping it will make a little bit of a whine but i'm hoping because it doesn't pull as much air it will not make as loud a whine just like i demonstrated with this fan shut up ah poo so basically what we just discovered is I was wrong. So what we're gonna have to do is put this fan on the side panel. So the only decision we have to make now is whether we use this one in the front or the back. And to make that decision, we just need to do something quite simple, which is put these two fans next to each other and see which one has the brightest LEDs. We have a winner and it's this one. This is going back in the front. I love computers, but sometimes they can be a little bit of a pain in the ass. I have connected this fan to that fan header back there and now I'm going to redo all that cable management around there. Well, it's better than last time. Yeah, it's as good as we're going to get. Okay, so as you can see there, CPU's kind of core zero is at about 20. But let's call it 30 degrees. So it's all it seems to be cooling, it's not overheating. So there we are. I finished swapping out all the fans and stuff. It took a lot longer than I thought it was. I started off yesterday thinking, ah, oh, this will take maybe two, two, three hours. It took a little bit longer. 
So anyway, please feel free to check out any of my other videos. I've got some plane spotting ones, more stuff about PCs, got some vlogs, whatever you want really. Just just have a look and yeah, have fun. Thank you very much for watching and I'll hopefully see you in the next video. Thank you.